टेन डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी वी विल लर्न द टेन डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी विद सुपर इजी डेफिनेशन एंड एग्जाम्पल्स द फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी इज काइनेटिक एनर्जी द एनर्जी पोजेस्ट बाई अ बॉडी ड्यू टू इट्स मोशन इज कॉल्ड काइनेटिक एनर्जी फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन अ कार इज मूविंग इट पोजेस इज काइनेटिक एनर्जी वेन एयर प्लेन इज मूविंग इट पोजेस इज काइनेटिक एनर्जी वेन अ बाईसाइकल इज मूविंग इट पोजेस इज काइनेटिक एनर्जी इवन वेन वी ह्यूमन बींग्स वॉक वी पोजेस काइनेटिक एनर्जी सो एनी थिंग दैट इज मूविंग पोजेस इज काइनेटिक एनर्जी रिमेंबर दैट वेन अ बॉडी स्टॉप्स इट्स काइनेटिक एनर्जी बिकम जीरो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन दिस कार स्टॉप्स इट्स काइनेटिक एनर्जी बिकम जीरो सिमिलरली वेन दिस एयर प्लेन स्टॉप्स इट्स काइनेटिक एनर्जी बिकम जीरो Dear for I say that when there is motion there is kinetic energy no motion means no kinetic energy the second form of energy is potential energy the energy stored in an object due to its position in force field is called potential energy to learn potential energy you must learn the concept of force field for example consider the earth we all know that There is gravitational field around the earth. If we place any object in this field, it experiences downward force. That's why things are falling in downward direction. So we say that gravitational field is the force field because things experience downward force in it. Let me repeat it. Gravitational field is the force field because things experience downward force in it. Some other force fields are magnetic field, electric field, nuclear field, etc. Now coming to examples of potential energy. When we raise this ball above the ground, we actually change its position in the force field. So potential energy is stored in this ball. Here the force field is gravitational field. We can also say that gravitational potential energy is stored in this ball. Secondly the air plane moving above the ground possesses potential energy thirdly the birds flying above the ground possesses potential energy therefore remember that potential energy is the stored energy in an object when we change its position in force field the third form of energy is sound energy the energy which is generated due to the moment of vibration is called sound energy for example consider guitar when you plug the string of a guitar the string is vibrating and sound energy is produced similarly we human beings also produce sound energy when our vocal cord vibrates thirdly when we hit the drum the membrane of the drum starts vibrating this vibration of membrane produces sound energy remember that Sound energy travels in a medium like solid, liquid and gas, while sound energy cannot travel in a vacuum. For instance, in the space, you will not be able to hear any sound. Thus remember that sound energy is produced due to the vibrations. The fourth form of energy is heat energy or thermal energy. The energy generated when the temperature of matter rises is called heat energy or thermal energy. For example, when you cook food in your home, you need some sort of fire. By this way, you increase the temperature of your food and heat or thermal energy is generated. Secondly, the sun produces a lot of heat energy or thermal energy. Thirdly, A car's engine burns fuel to generate enough thermal energy to run properly. Fourthly, our body also produces heat or thermal energy to keep us alive. Thus remember that when temperature of any object is increasing, heat or thermal energy is generated. The fifth form of energy is chemical energy. The energy stored in the chemical bonds of compounds is called chemical energy for example we all know that when oxygen and hydrogen react together chemically water is formed now there is energy stored between oxygen and hydrogen bond 
this energy is known as chemical energy remember that whatever we eat contain chemical energy for example all vegetables all pulses all fruits all snacks contain chemical energy this note it down that all the substances contain stored energy or chemical energy the sixth form of energy is mechanical energy the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy is called mechanical energy for example consider fast flying airplane above the ground we know that this airplane possesses kinetic energy due to its motion let its kinetic energy is 1000 joule secondly this airplane also possesses potential energy due to its vertical position and the gravitational field let its potential energy is 20000 joule we know that mechanical energy is the sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy so the mechanical energy of this airplane is 1000 joule plus 20000 joule is equal to 21000 joule secondly when you hit a nail using a hammer the hammer also possesses mechanical energy thirdly when the gas balloons rises above the ground they possesses mechanical energy thus remember that mechanical energy is the sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy the seventh form of energy is radiant energy the energy that is transferred through electromagnetic waves is called radiant energy for example we receive energy from the sun in the form of sunlight so sunlight is radiant energy secondly during night time we switch on the bulb the light coming from the bulb is radiant energy thirdly the cell phone use radiant energy to transfer our voice or message over a long distance thus remember that the energy transferred by electromagnetic waves is called radiant energy the eighth form of energy is electrical energy the energy that is derived from the movement of charged particles is called electrical energy for example the fan we use in our home uses electrical energy to run secondly electric iron uses electrical energy to iron our cloth thirdly electronic devices like computer tv laptop use electrical energy to operate nowadays electric cars use electrical energy as a fuel to run properly without any problem in our daily life we need electrical energy every time to do our job life without electrical energy seems impossible therefore remember that electrical energy is generated due to the motion of charged particles the ninth form of energy is nuclear energy the energy released by splitting atoms is called nuclear energy for example consider uranium atom when we split up uranium into two atoms barium and krypton a large amount of energy is generated this energy is called nuclear energy in nuclear power plant we use nuclear energy to generate cheap electricity thus remember that nuclear energy is the energy of the nucleus of an atom the last and the tenth form of energy is elastic energy the energy stored as a result of applying force to deform an elastic object is called elastic energy also note it down that it is a form of potential energy for example when you compress or stretch a spring elastic potential energy is stored in it secondly when you stretch a bow elastic potential energy is stored in it once it is released the elastic potential energy changes to kinetic energy of the arrow thirdly when you stretch the rubber of slingshot elastic potential energy is stored in it once you release it the elastic potential energy changes to kinetic energy thus remember that elastic energy is the form of potential energy i hope that you have learned the 10 different forms of energy